Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Subpar Sunday. You're with the Hophead Connoisseur, along with my co-star Coney here for the 13th installment of Subpar Sunday, where we review a crappy domestic beer. Now, if you're just joining us on Subpar Sunday, and this is your first episode of watching, the reason why I say it's crappy domestic beers because that's what we're reviewing. Anything that's domestic that is not considered a craft beer, because if you have been following me, you know I'm a craft beer drinker. IPAs are my thing to go to um, in the winter time and in the fall time. I do like my stouts, and there are some pumpkin beers out there too. But for me, the reason why I call them crappy is because there's no flavor to them. That's like sugar water with alcohol, and I like beers that have flavor. So when I'm drinking my IPAs, you know, I like them juicy, hoppy, bitter, uh, pineapple flavor, uh, maybe a peach flavor, mango flavor, whatever the brewers have done to that IPA to give it that flavor. That's what I like uh, for stouts. You get coffee, you get roasty, you get chocolate. Um, you know, some of them are bourbon barrels, rye barrels, rum barrels. So those are flavors that you get with the beers and everything. And you don't get that with domestics. You don't. They're low ABV beers. If you've been following the series here, uh, we've reviewed anything from, uh, was that Miller High Life, the champagne of beers, to what was it last time? It was, was it Natural Light or somewhere, something around there? But it's going to be hard for me to keep up with all the beers I've done. I'll have to make me a list every week. <laughs> that way I can look at my list and say, all right, this is what we've done so far. <laughs> but yeah, it's that's the thing with craft beers. There's flavor to them and there's no flavor in domestics. And I mean, if you want to leave me a comment and say, hey, you know, I don't agree with you, feel free to. We can talk about this. You know, I'll, I'm always open to comments and everything. And to kick this off, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please subscribe, turn your notifications on. That way, when my videos get uploaded, you'll get the notification that it's ready to view. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, leave a comment. I always like comments and I review, and I like to get back to them as soon as I can, or reply back to them as soon as I can. So what are we gonna talk about today? Well, in the Midwest, there are lots of stands that you will find, I'm not trying to reveal the, oh, nope, there it goes. I revealed the name already, that you can find it's definitely in Walmart and definitely in the liquor stores out there. So you can find it here, but out there it is a big seller. And this is Bush Beer. Yes, in the 1980s, it was a big selling point how they like did commercials and everything. They always had beer commercials back in the day. But that was always a thing like when, you know, they did the Bush Beer commercials, they would always say, Bush beer. So I'm not going to be doing it all the way through the video because <laughs> that will just get too annoying. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this started out as Bush Bavarian in 1955. It was one of Anheuser Busch's first beers after Prohibition. And then in 1979, it became Bush beer. So the thing with this is they say it's crisp, it's light, and it's sweet, okay? Um, yeah, that's been about mostly what the beers I've been drinking are. So what kind of beer is Bush beer? Well, it's a lager. And if you've been watching my videos, most of the beers that I've been reviewing have been lagers. So, yep. It's just a lager. <laughs> One of my friends, I used to just tell him that for lager beers. I was like, man, it's just a lager. <laughs> but some people like them. You know, for craft beers, they're, they're not bad. I mean, some of them do have flavor. I mean, I've had hoppy uh, lagers. They call them IPLs, India Pale Lagers. So they're, they're a little bit more hoppier, uh, but they're crisp and they're light and more refreshing. This is... Beers that are mainly meant to be drank during the summertime. I mean, you could probably find big parties out there in the Midwest, probably even here too, you know, where people will drink a case of this in a day. I'm not drinking a case of some of my ABV beers that I'm drinking. <laughs> You'll find me laying on the floor. <laughs> but if you drink a lot of this, uh, yeah, you're probably going to the bathroom a lot because, you know, it's just water, flavored water. 
So anyway, Coney, you ready to crack this thing open and see how this beer tastes? I don't know if I'm really ready for it. So this is, like I said, I've never had one of these. So my opinion on this is going to be the first time for me drinking it. And let's get this thing cracked open. So one more time. Bush beer. 4.3% American lager. Crack this thing open here. All right. Got our handy, when I say country bumpkin glass. <laughs> let's get this thing poured into the glass here and let's just see how this thing looks. Oh yeah, doesn't that look refreshing? Yeah, I don't know if I call that refreshing. You know, the color is almost about the same color as the ring around the top of this can. <laughs> there you go. Bush beer. Again, look at, just look at how yellow, you know, it looks like straw yellow. All that carbonation in there. You know, we've always talked about carbonation because you think about it, you never did drink most of these beers when you were younger um, out of a glass. You drank it out of the can. You know, and you know, you get done with the can, you crush it. Um, bottles, you know, if you if you had a big bin that you threw bottles into, sometimes you know, someone would try to break them, but you know, that just gets shards of glass everywhere. But yeah, so when you think about when I pour it into a glass or anything, you really get to see the color and the carbonation of this, and yeah, it's not really that refreshing looking. I mean, you know, I can. Hey, let's, you know, want to read the label? Uh, well, you know, it's a little bit darker than usual. I can still read it, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You want the first You want the first drink, Coney? Is that what it is? Hey, don't be anybody calling Pete on me because I'm, you know, making my dinosaur drink. All right. I don't think he's very happy with that one. No? All right. Well, let's give this a shot. Bush beer. 4.3% lager from Anheuser-Busch, which is now owned by InBev. Yep, just smells like every other beer that I review on Subpar Sunday. It's just malty. Okay, that's really about the smell I get. So let's give this a taste and let's see how it tastes. A lot of carbonation. God. That tastes horrible <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if bush light was any worse than this but god this is horrible ah. tastes just like bread it's it's a little sweet but it's just bready tasting Ugh. so in keeping up with the tradition of this show you know we always chug it at the end here and we're gonna see how my chugging skills are today. You want another drink, Cody? No? All right. <laughs> Gotta give him a you know a chance to try some more of this bush beer. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see how this tastes. Going down again. Ugh. Got her down. Excuse me. Get God Almighty, all that carbonation. God. Ugh. So if this is bread, does it mean I have to eat breakfast? Oh, I think I'm gonna make my stomach feel bad today. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on Subpar Sunday. Oh, excuse me. I feel all this carbonation come back up, so forgive me if I'm doing a lot of burping right now. So for the 13th installment, yeah, lucky number 13, right? Bush beer. Oh, no. Thir lucky 13 is all this carbonation coming back up. Oh. If you like bush beer, good for you. Definitely not for me. Oh, horrible. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. 
And remember, get out there, support your local craft breweries, and drink craft beer, not crappy domestic beer. We'll see you next week for Subpar Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday and get out there and have a beer, a real beer, not domestic. <laughs>